Happy New Year, YouTube. So, <laughs> uh, I hope you all had a good, uh, a good time celebrating the New Year. Um, I had, uh, well, the the week between Christmas and New Year, I had a general meet up with my nature group. So I was kind of tired at the end of that and just happy to kick back, have a mostly traditional Dutch New Year. I didn't have champagne, I had some beer, but for the rest I had beignets and uh, apple, uh, normal and apple filled beignets. I listened to the top 2000 of all times and when Bohemian Rhapsody finished playing, I declared it a happy new year. So yeah, that's mostly the Dutch tradition. <laughs> I also stayed up to watch the fireworks for a bit and then I went to sleep because, yeah, I was tired. <laughs> uh, but yeah, now I'm not nearly as tired, so uh, yeah, uh, I, uh, I'm playing Sudakun again. <laughs> uh, and and I, uh, I'm going to be building a big stable building for this episode and the next two episodes as well there's going to be three enclosures connected to it and the first enclosure right here on the left is going to be home to an i kind of an iconic grassland animal of the north american grasslands we call prairies so i think you all know which one that is gonna tell it anyway the american bison so uh yeah Let's start building. These big cows need a good enclosure. <laughs>
So, before the enclosure, here you have the little cafe, you know, toilet, food, drinks, snacks. Um, I'm going to be building the little terrace to go with it uh, right here next episode. Uh, together with the enclosure over there. But, first off. More importantly, the bison. Yeah. Uh, they have this nice uh, pond area here. 
you know, to drink from, they have the stable to go into. The stable is actually kind of based upon um, what I wanted to put the mammoths in for Extinction Reverse before it started crashing. I actually got the idea for this whole stable complex uh, when Extinction Reverse started crashing, to be honest, but yeah, I the animals that are going into it, I did want to do already, so, you know, not like, not like I wouldn't have done something similar, you know, with a stable building. Um, yeah, so, here we go, <laughs> the little walk. Here you can go for the monkeys and the tapirs, and here for the bison and the animals that are going to be further into the not yet finished building. <laughs> um, ah, I see I forgot to put the zookeeper gate here, so we're going to do a little teleportation. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, here they have some hay they can eat and here this little resting area where they can get some fresh air but still be protected against the rain and everything. Uh, and yeah, then here the enclosure. Just a nice grassy enclosure with a pond as I said and some trees to have you know some shelter. And uh, yeah, that's about it for the bison. Oh, wait, wrong button. <laughs> um, next episode, I'm going to be building a rather narrow enclosure here. Um, and it's going to be for another animal of another iconic grassland. The Pampas of South America. So yeah, be looking forward to... Which one was going to be in there? But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for now. See you later. <laughs>